clicked on this video, your life is probably a little bit fucked. Whether you're stuck in a rut mentally, neglecting your physical health, letting your relationships deteriorate, or even just don't have clarity over what you want in life, you're not alone. And when you're feeling down like this, it's hard to make these massive life changes that a lot of videos on this topic tell you to do. It's kind of like being told to climb a mountain when you can barely get out of bed. Sometimes the fix isn't crazy dramatic actions. Sometimes it's just fixing your own head. That's why in this video, I'm gonna talk about three mindsets that have been scientifically proven not only to make your life better, but to potentially transform it. And these aren't just feel good theories or me telling you to stay positive or try harder. No, these mindsets are backed by research and have shown to have real world impact on people just by thinking about them. If there was ever a cheat code to boosting your stats or unfucking your life, this is it. Let's dive in. First, let's talk about growth mindset. This concept created by psychologist Carol Dweck is as absolutely life-changing as it is simple. In a nutshell, having growth mindset means you think your intelligence and abilities can be developed over time. It is the opposite of a fixed mindset where you think, I'm just not good at this and I never will be. With growth mindset, you adopt the belief that I may not be good at this yet, but I can be with deliberate practice and effort. There are of course people who are born to shred guitar or dominate the basketball court or even confidently talk circles around anybody they meet. But most people who are masters of a skill like this weren't born like that. Most likely they woke up one day and thought, I don't know how to do this, but I see that other people have figured this out. That means that I can do this as long as I put in the same amount of work that they did. You can also pretty much immediately tell who doesn't have growth mindset based on how they react to really impressive stuff like a beautiful piece of music being played on piano. They say things like, wow, you're a natural. You're so talented. I could never learn how to do things like that. Yes, you could. They weren't playing Mozart in the womb. They grinded this skill until they got good. Talent is over rated. Growth is underrated. So why is this mindset so powerful? Fundamentally, growth mindset changes how you see challenges and setbacks. Instead of seeing them as insurmountable proof of your limitations, you view them as an opportunity to learn and grow every time you encounter something that is beyond your ability. And this shift in perspectives can be life-changing. Studies have shown that people with growth mindset are more resilient, more motivated, and more likely to achieve their goals. Think about that. Growth mindset makes people more likely to achieve their goals just by thinking about this. People with growth mindset are not deterred by failure. They're literally inspired by it. J.K. Rowling, the now world-renowned author, was rejected by multiple publishers trying to get Harry Potter. Or Thomas Edison, who said, I have not failed, I have simply found 10,000 ways of not making this fucking light bulb work. These are classic examples of growth mindset in action. Seeing each rejection, each failure, not as defeat, but as one step closer to success. Growth mindset changed my life too. I wanted to make YouTube videos since I was literally 10 years old. A few years ago, I didn't know how to edit, didn't know how to write without it sounding like complete garbage, and I didn't even really know how to use a camera. Then I discovered growth mindset, and I realized, huh, all of the creators that I love to watch and thought I could never be like, all started in the exact same position as me. Why can't I do it too? And over the next three years, I tried and failed over and over again with emphasis on one thing. Growth. Now I know all of these skills, I can make videos that I think are actually valuable to people, and I've even gotten paid for doing what I love. And I owe it all to this mindset. Here are five quick tips for cultivating growth mindset and changing that internal narrative in your head. One, embrace challenges. When you're faced with something tough, instead of saying, I can't do this, tell yourself, I can't do this yet. Two, learn from criticism. Instead of getting defensive, see feedback as a valuable tool for improvement. Three, Celebrate effort, not just success. Acknowledge your hard work and persistence even if the outcome isn't what you want. Four, reframe setbacks. View them as a learning experience, not a reflection of your skills and abilities. Five, stay curious. Always be open to learning new things and improving your skills. Always be open to growth. By embracing growth mindset, you're not just improving a single aspect of your life. You're setting the foundation for continuous growth and progress. It's about enjoying the journey as much as the destination and realizing every step you take makes a more capable, better version of you. Moving on from growth mindset, let's dive into another mindset that might seem kind of counterintuitive at first. The stress is enhancing mindset. This mindset completely shifts how we view stress. Instead of seeing stress as purely harmful, this mindset encourages us to see stress as a potential source of energy and growth. It's all about reprogramming programming our response to stress, transforming it from a threat into a challenge that can actually propel us forward. So why is adopting the stress is enhancing mindset beneficial to your life? Well, research has shown that our perception of stress can greatly influence the impact it has on our health and well-being, not stress itself. Health psychologist Kelly McGonigal conducted a pivotal study that has completely transformed our understanding of stress. In her research, she found that stress itself is not the enemy. Our perception
perception of it is what truly matters. One of her key findings was that people who viewed stress as a helpful part of their lives actually had better health and well-being than those who saw stress as harmful. This is groundbreaking. When you change your mind about stress, you can change your body's response to stress. And this study underscores the incredible importance of our mindset about stress. It's not about eliminating stress from our lives, but learning how to harness it and use it as a positive force. Consider athletes who perform under high pressure. They often view stress as a necessary part of achieving that peak performance. This positive stress, known as eustress, can lead to more focus, energy, and motivation. Just like in the business world, how entrepreneurs thrive in stressful situations, using that adrenaline rush to fuel creativity and decision making. And it's not that these people don't experience stress. They have just figured out how to use it as a driving force. I learned about this mindset at one of the most important times of my life. After dropping out of college, because I was a self-taught programmer who was spending $60,000 a year to learn nothing new, I joined a coding bootcamp. And it was really hard. It was an intensive grind, coding every day from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. It was rigorous, demanding, and yes, extremely stressful. But the real challenge came after bootcamp. Without a college degree, breaking into the tech industry meant I really had to prove myself. And nearly a year after graduating, I finally landed an interview with VMware, one of my dream companies. The only catch was I needed to learn SQL before my technical interview in one week. This was one of the most stressful moments of my life. And the realization hit me hard. If I didn't learn this programming language in a week, I would potentially miss out on my dream job. But instead of letting this stress overwhelm me, I used it. For the first time in my life, I channeled this into you stress, into pressure. Positive stress that energized and focused. And before learning about this mindset, stress like this would have crushed me, sent me into a panic attack, and probably would have caused me to skip the interview entirely. But the high stakes situation propelled me to learn faster and more efficiently than I ever had in my life. And it paid off. I aced the coding interview and I landed the job. This experience taught me a critical lesson. Stress, when harnessed effectively, can be an incredible motivator. It pushed me beyond my limits and showed me what I am truly capable of achieving. Here are five quick tips to help you start seeing stress as an enhancing tool. One, reframe your perspective. Start viewing stressful situations as challenges to overcome instead of insurmountable obstacles. Two. Recognize your strength. Remind yourself of past experiences where you've successfully handled stress. Three, focus on growth. Always look for opportunities and stressful situations that can lead to personal or professional growth. They're everywhere. Four, practice mindfulness. Engage in mindfulness activities like meditation when things get really stressful to keep yourself focused and grounded. Five, physical activity. Regular exercise is one of the most important tools for managing stress and transforming it into a positive energy. Adopting the stress's enhancing mindset is a way to shift from fear and avoidance to a state of action and empowerment. By changing how we perceive stress, we change it into a catalyst for growth. Remember, it's not stress, it's pressure. And pressure can turn coal into diamonds. And finally, let's talk about abundance mindset. This mindset is about seeing the world as a place of opportunities and resources, not a place of limitations. It's the opposite of a scarcity mindset where you believe there's never enough, be it money, success, or love. And you must compete fiercely for these limited resources. Abundance mindset is rooted in the belief that there's plenty out there for everyone and that success is not a zero sum game. Someone else's success is beneficial to you and your success is beneficial to somebody else. And the power of this mindset lies in its ability to help us transform our goals, relationships, and self-image. And adopting this mindset gives you a sense of gratitude, generosity, and contentment. When you believe the pie of success is big enough for everyone, you're much more likely to share opportunities, knowledge, and credit with others. This mindset breeds creativity and collaboration. And it's a key trait found in many successful people. And in the real world, it can have a massive impact on your personal and professional life. It's been proven that in business, entrepreneurs with an abundance mindset create more innovative solutions and foster better collaborative partnerships with others. They see other businesses not as competitors, but as potential allies. And in your personal life, this mindset leads to healthier relationships. It allows for more empathy, understanding, and mutual support because it's not about competing for love or attention. It's about believing there is enough to go around. When I first started making YouTube videos, I saw every other creator in my niche as competition. I was convinced that their success meant less room for me. But when I shifted to an abundance mindset, I started seeing these people as collaborators and not my rivals. This opened the door to new opportunities, learning from people who I think are really cool, and even creating partnerships that have helped grow my audience. There is more than enough money, attention, and abundance to go around. But you only start to see that abundance when you let go of scarcity. And cultivating this mindset is not the easiest, but it is incredibly rewarding. Here are five quick tips that can help you start. One. Practice gratitude. Regularly acknowledge and appreciate what you have. Gratitude shifts your focus from what you're missing to the abundance that you already have in your life. Two, celebrate others' success. Instead of feeling threatened by others' achievements, celebrate with them. It's fun and it reinforces the belief that there's plenty of success to go around. Three, be generous. Share your knowledge, time, and experience with others. Generosity breeds abundance. Four, 
focus on possibilities. Instead of dwelling on the limitations, focus on the limitless amount of possibilities and opportunities that are open to you. Five. Maintain positive outlook. Expect good things to happen. This positive expectation actually manifests more opportunities. Embracing an abundance mindset is about more than just feeling good. It allows you to live freely, give generously, and celebrate others' success as if it was your own. And now, you should have all of the mindsets you need to unfuck your life. If you enjoyed the video, it would mean the world to me if you could like, subscribe, and comment what mindset is the most important to you. And if you want to watch another video, YouTube thinks you should watch this one. Thank you so much for watching, safe travels, and I'll see you next time.